this video I'll be talking about the three big unexpected uh, uh, benefits of practicing semen retention. Now instead of saying semen retention, I'm most precise that we should say se sexual transmu transmutation. Because when we say semen retention, it's more, it sounds very forceful. It sounds very that you're suppressing some, something. It's not about retaining, it's more about transmute, transmuting the energy. Now, I must precise another thing, and that is to say uh, that uh, you will only experience these type of benefits if you're not living in a lustful state of mind, okay? That is the number one, that is the number one uh, state of mind that you want to um, rise above. If you're living in lust, you will not see these type of benefits, alright? And if you're going to the club, and if you're partying, and you're doing all these type of things, um, it's impossible. It's not impossible, but... Uh, um, it's uh, going to put a lot of distractions on your way just by you operating from that frequency now the number one thing that um, you will experience on a higher streak or when you're properly transmuting the energy meaning you're not feeding into lustful thinking you're not edging you're not doing things that you're not so supposed to really be doing because you know that kills your soul now the number one thing that I experienced, and I'm talking from my experience only, and that is, you will have uh, life seems to move. Uh, you get like this psychedelic effect of life. When your mind has not been captured by the phone, by the media, and you have your attention straight at one point, because this is a meditation practice and every moment of your life should be like a meditation all right when this happens you will start you will open up portals inside of you and you will see what life really is now when i say you get psychedelic effect is that the sound gets more intense uh your vision it's more broad it's like you pick up on things like slowly you're moving around and you see like you can hear something over there and you can see something there and you can see how it's all connected and it gives you this peaceful this harmonious feeling inside of you and that's a huge benefit now this is this is a state of mind I don't I don't know what to call it I don't know what it's called in Buddhism, I don't know what it's called in Hinduism, but it's a state of mind where your mind certainly has reached uh, a, a certain stillness, right? Because I've been in a lot of situations where the mind is just, is in this constant war all the time. Every thought that comes up is just boom, boom, boom over and over again and it gets very exhausting is very 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 exhausting now <clears throat> when you become more conscious and you practice your attention more inwardly every moment of life get more pleasurable you will find pleasure in in just breathing all right so this is these benefits you will experience only if you trans um, transcend lust now these pathways that your old pathways your old entity that will still be it will still operate at some point inside of you meaning if you go back to doing something that you're you know is very egotistical then that is very and you go back to doing that like just a bit and it's very easy to create those pathways and make that a habit again of going back to doing the things that we know we're not supposed to be doing. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> uh, 
Um, and, and number two is that I would say that your word becomes very impactful. Um, it's like since you're not thinking that much, the words that just comes out of you is out of presence. And this is very powerful, all right? I don't know how to explain this. I cannot explain this logically. It doesn't make sense. But whenever I'm in and I practice this and my mind is pure and my body is pure, my word gets very, very influential, all right? If I choose to speak, now it's not only just my words, it's just the the presence of you alone is very influential. Now, people can just sit in your presence and they can feel that peace that you have. Now, they want to be around that too because they feel it. All right? It's like you sit someone, you sit next to someone who has a cold, who is sick. And if you sit next to them for a good period of time, you will eventually probably get sick too. Now, if some people sit next to you and you're feeling this natural state of you, where you, your attention is centered towards one point, people will, will get in tune with that energy because you're open. You're open and you're giving away, all right? So very, very, it's more like your presence gets very powerful, but your words also get very powerful when you choose to speak. And that is a very important thing that you must learn or we must learn. We must learn when we should speak and who we should speak to and what we say to the, and what we say when we speak to certain people. Because everything is just, everything is just a frequency and people can't really understand what you're saying because you're operating differently than somebody else, all right? Now, <coughs> number three is that I don't know which one I should choose for this one, but um, let's say that the most important thing that uh, a person should focus on is his relationship with uh, the true self, with um, with uh, the universe, with grace, with God. Now, this this relationship will strengthen. All right, this relationship will be more powerful. This relationship, the relationship with your ego, will either increase or it will decrease. If you if it's increased, it means that you're you're kind of retaining but you're doing it maybe for the wrong reasons. But we're not we're not talking too much about that now. But if you're retaining for the right reasons and it, there is really no right and wrong reasons, but whatever. <coughs> if you're practicing good habits, you will see that the false self starts to dissolve, right? The mind, the ego, this start to dissolve. Now, what happens now is that the true connection with spirit, the true connection with you, the true self will reveal itself in front of you in every moment of life, in every single, in every single moment. Now, this can bring you a lot of peace, and this can bring you a lot of joy this can bring you a lot of uh, bliss this can bring you a lot of relief right this will bring you the sense of there's something greater than me there is something greater going on and i feel thankful for that you know and these are three very important things that you will see and you can get to experience for yourself very, you don't have to go 150 days. You can go, if you go a few days without the phone and you spend some time in nature and you're not lost in and all of that, you might see it. Well, it all depends on where you're at in your path, all right? 
but I'm saying it doesn't have to be long you don't have to go through this whole type of process just practice with some discipline and you will see the changes within you and this is a great step for you to uh, live life through your true self peace out